What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Game here. Today I'm bringing you a smaller video. I didn't know what. Uh, there's a lot of new. If you're following around Fallout 76 like I am, there's like a ton of new video from the event of Greenbrier, uh, where streamers, influencers, news outlet have been went to all the uh, uh, went to Greenbrier Hotel, if I remember correctly, and they played for three hours each. And there's so much the, so much material on it right now that they decided to. Uh, just do it like just check out some videos and talk to it. I'm live streaming right now So if you see me talking uh, that's why but I'll try it for the YouTube I'll try to just cut it down so you guys get the best part of it. So yeah, this is uh, one of the videos from GameSpot So I wanted to show the title there, but my my tag at the bottom is showing so well We'll leave it like that. So this is right out of the vault. Basically. Uh, they're just playing out Checking all the cool stuff out of the vault. I don't think they, they don't show necessarily everything going out from the vault it's funny to actually... I would probably do the same thing while I'm playing. <laughs> Purified water and uh, med med medication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all need that. I really... From all the videos I've watched so far, I really enjoy like the way they did like how, how you're exiting the vault itself. It's pretty interesting. There you go. Yay, Reclamation Day. So cool. First thing I've noticed, it doesn't have quite a, the same impact. I feel because there's other player, but I don't feel like like all the other ones. You're like you go out and it's like it's sort of it has a, a cutscene where it's like panning out and it's like oh uh, look at everything. It's so bright and stuff. Here it's, it still does about the same thing, but uh, it's still pretty cool. So one thing that came back to I don't they're not gonna they're not gonna say anything in this video in this cut down video, but uh, ammo can be constructed. I don't remember if you can do that in Fallout 4, but like weapon degradation is back, so that's pretty interesting. It, uh, it's not quite, it's not like uh, Fallout New Vegas, if you remember, you could combine multiple weapons together uh, and create, basically re, re, re uh, like make your weapon powerful again. This time you have to go back, find all the material and repair it, so that's how it's going to work for this game, which makes completely good, completely, complete sense. So yeah, Vast, as you can see, Vast is uh, it's, uh, live action now, it's a... Uh, it's actually just it's 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 a, basically now it's an aim assist. I, I heard some people when they're watching the videos, some people like it, some people don't like it as much because it's a bit weird. But like the at least in this version of Vats, you can like go real close on him and just like like what he's doing right now, he's getting closer to hit him. It gives him that 95% instead of uh, what in the other one you have to upgrade it. And this you, early in the beginning you can upgrade. Uh, the vats so you can select different body parts so it can blow out somebody's legs or something like that But what's cool now is they, they sort of show maybe not in this video. I'll try to find another video, but uh, Oh, this is one of the a little bit in different servers about in the same area It seems like dev set up bases Where they, they they're there to greet new players They I guess people have to go there if they're if they're doing the overseer mission at the beginning And he'll trade with you. will give you stuff <laughs> And yeah, that's the, the the warning in the corner. Pacifist uh, enable basically. Uh, you can turn that on. It doesn't matter how many someone shoots you. It doesn't take you power, but you can't you can't shoot them back either and stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting. Get away those grievers. But you'll see so many so many other like uh, maybe not in this video, but I'll find some videos where they uh, where they showed a bit more where when other people try to attack you, it's, it's really just like a little. Tick, 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 just little shots at a time until you you decide to uh, to take take them on, which is better than what a lot of a lot of uh, uh, yeah. a lot of over utter uh, utter My multiplayer God. game. And the, no you, the vault the vault thing you just saw, yeah. So basically now you can create say, when I'm you're sorry. different some I'm different sorry, areas sometimes have uh, um, your stash basically where you can put all box, your. All your stuff that can travel with you, so you don't have to carry all your building materials and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. There's two radio stations so far, and there's Hunter and Hunted too, which is pretty cool. So basically, if you activate what I've read so far on online and what the videos I've saw is the Hunter Hunted. It's only at level five, and basically, it's sort of a I don't know. I it sort of felt like a Hunger Game type thing where you. Um, where if you activate that channel, basically you become uh, either either liable to getting attacked, being being sort of uh, being put on the map to like a sort of a, what do, what what do I want to say here? Sort of being like you're you're hunted, or you you can it gives you a, uh, someone to go hunt. I think it's mutual, so you can be hunted and hunted at the same time, but you don't know who's doing what. So that's pretty interesting. 
What I've noticed too, there's a the, on a lot of most of the gameplays also. It's a lot of scorchers, a lot of ferals, a lot of uh, a lot of ticks and and uh, mole rats at the beginning, hey, of course. Of so course, you need stupid a website. Eye. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff like that going on. Scorch, wim, wanderer, scorch. Well, one one thing that would have been cool probably is. Um, one thing that would have been cool though is when you die, basically your corpse becomes a feral or or scorched or whatever. That would have been kind of cool, but maybe m probably wouldn't have made sense. But still cool. You see how he moves forward. The vast just locks on, and you get a better percentage, and it's sort of live action, like adjust the percentage of where it is. And that's one ugly mother lover. So the the guys with the crown on their head basically are the, the like the stronger enemies in the game, and they give you more loot. So that's pretty cool. At least it's sort of like the legendaries. But without that, them mutating or something, I guess so far what I've can't what I could see, they don't mutate like the ones in uh, Fallout 4. So also now this time around, also weapons, uh, the s weapons now like you can't you can't pick up like a level one, you can't pick up like a mini nuke or something like that. It doesn't work that way now. Try to balance the game out so you're not able to do like high level areas right at the beginning. So like a shotgun is level five now. Uh, uh, what what it seems to is that uh, bolt action bolt action rifle is is level 5 too so i've seen some people like it some people don't i don't mind for me that just resembles any any other rpg open like multiplayer games or like uh mmos or something like that where you get you get the the weapons you want uh, at a certain levels and goes for every equipment even the power armor you can equip what i've saw so far is you can equip oh you see there's a bobblehead right on the left bobbleheads too are they're special because the bobbleheads are one time use so you can use them i don't know if it's going to say yeah when used, you gain 20% damage for an hour or so. I don't know if it's like a one, it's, I don't, they haven't explained if it's a one time use or it's one one thing you can use once a day or something like that. Which would be cool if it's once a day, um, if it works that way. Yeah, like I was saying, the, the power armor, the power armor, the power armor, like at the beginning, you can't equip it because you're not high enough level. I don't know if it's it's a perk card you have to, to get or something, but what's cool is you can you can take all the, the all the equipment off the power armor frame and use just the frame i think it gives you somewhat of a buff at the beginning i hope so that would be kind of cool so so far i haven't seen all the videos i've watched i haven't seen nobody get the uh, the flintlock yet which i would have seen if it's cool if it does more damage or if it's a higher level weapon so far most people i saw was level 7 they got they were able to get in 3 hours uh, oh you can put you can do camps while you're while you're fighting, that's pretty cool. I didn't see that one before. I'm surprised those superhumans are not higher levels, though. I, well, I didn't see it. I think it was only level 3 or 4. If there's only one time I saw someone using a weapon and it actually broke while they were using it. I didn't see if apparel had, had armor. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, level 10. So, you, you would assume they would be higher, but then again, you have Scorch Beast. You have all those, the Grafton Monster, whatever they call them. You have all these big monsters there, but he still gives out a lot of loot. Winston, because he was a monster with a crown on top of his name there. So, like, this area, first time I saw this this video here, I saw a lot of, like, the era resemble a lot from, like, bases in uh, Fallout. In Fallout 4, I mean. Like, a lot of the military bases where there were power armor, this resembles it a lot. I don't know. It, it's I'm assuming they used a lot of textures from Fallout 4. A lot of shooting here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, not not a lot of people with uh, automatic weapons either. That, that too, I've noticed. It's a lot of pistol, hunting rifles, and uh, stuff like that. The map is huge, though. I think in this part, he shows like the entire map. It looks humongous. Like there's so many cool parts. Like I just want my favorite part in Fallout is trying to find vaults. That's, just, that's like my favorite part, is just trying to find vaults all over the place. Oh, it costs you five, oh, at the bottom there, it shows you, it, sh it costs you five to move your camp. Okay. There is something that there, I don't know if he, he, I don't think he figures it out in this video, but your Pip Boy, you can do, uh, you can uh, activate what's uh, what's called a Quick Boy, I think they, they were calling it. Where it's just a lay over the screen instead of you, It's cu it basically cuts out the animation of raising your arm every time, and it's just an overlay on the screen to like the pit boy but over your screen so you can still see what's going on in case you need to so that's a pretty cool feature i know they're playing on an 4k on xbox pro here so 
uh, they're still I don't think they're they're not done like uh, optimizing frame like optimizing textures and stuff that's why it skips a lot I'm still wondering if I should get it on PS4 or uh, PC I'm probably gonna go PC mole miner rock breather I didn't see that one before oh it's those weird one that that weird capes I didn't see this part of the video I don't I think I stopped before that those are the, some of the new enemies that look pretty cool they look weird as hell though now you see that frame stuttering a bit it seems though some of the videos that they were explained like around the vault area like within the, the the vicinity they optimized that area the most because it was the exit right but as apparently as you go out further like there was one part i don't remember who played it but he went like way the other end of the map and he like he had nine frames per second oh and these are the vendors you can you can either sell to other players or you can sell to robots like that so we already knew that from the from the other one but from the other videos but Still pretty cool, at least there's something there. Well, a lot of the concerns were that this game was going to feel empty, but so far everything I've seen, even when I'm watching somebody play alone that does, it's not doing anything with anybody else, I'll, I'll go to uh, Juice Head. I mean, he has a, like I was mentioning earlier, he has the full video, and for about the first hour or so he played alone, and it still feels like there's a lot of enemies, so you're not, you're not getting tired of not doing anything, like, that like not seeing NPCs, so it's the scorchers I feel do a great job replacing like raiders and stuff like that. So they some they do seem to talk at two a bit, like not a lot, but like somewhat coherent some, stuff going on. One thing one thing I I see t I saw too uh, d didn't annoy everybody. It seemed different for everybody, but there was a lot of uh, like the missions on the side right on top of my head here. If there's too many. If you get too many side missions, it starts piling up there on the side. You can deactivate them, but it's weird that it would activate all of them at the same time. I don't know if some, that's something they're going to fit. They're going to get feedback from this anyway, but I'm assuming those are one of the things you they'll fix. Yeah, this is the new wanted system. If you kill somebody, it get, you get you get that thing over your head, and it actually, it it you see how the the guy's not losing any power now. That's that's it's a cool system. I have to say, like it's pretty it's a pretty cool way of like to defeat griefers. Gives you right over his head the want to know how many caps you'll get, which is taken directly from your. If you're the, the attacker, it takes it directly from your your caps that you have. See, if he kills him right now, I, he gets 79 caps for it. That's pretty cool. I <laughs> see he's he attacked him with high level weapons and doesn't his power doesn't even go down. So that's that's a pretty cool system. I really enjoy that. That 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 gives me a bit more faith of playing. Uh, playing online with people <laughs> at least i don't i don't you don't have to do anything i wonder if you can lose that wanted level if i i don't know if it, like if it's long enough that you it goes away or you can like do something to get rid of it but man this guy is stacked you see that's one thing too i'll, I'll just pause it you see here there's like stim packs and then there's stim packs diluted and super i wonder if don't low i don't I, i'm assuming those are like special thing you craft where they give you like a lot more power so that's pretty cool I saw like even Radaways right they have the same thing like uh, diluted or something like that. I don't know if diluted is stronger than stim packs. Diluted that means usually it's watered down, right? If I remember. No English is not my first language, but super should be the best one, right? <laughs> Tesla rifle makes a good return. That's cool. The Tesla rifle though in like Fallout 4, I, I thought it was a bit like wasn't like it's a weapon I've never used like and I used it a couple times. I know in Fallout 3 it was New Vegas it was stronger, but for some reason Fallout 4 it felt like eh it's pretty normal. You see, though, now he lost his wanted level. I don't know if it's because we don't see him anymore, or... I don't know, that's pretty weird. One... Well, I didn't see it a lot in the other videos, but some videos where they were talking about how you, like, gather water and, like, resources. Some wood, you, I think he was saying you can find some around trees. Like, I don't know if it's actually the motion of, like, yeah, going to a tree and, like, cutting it down, but, like... Or you can find water in, like, rivers and boil it down to make it safer to drink, so that's pretty cool. Instead of trying to find purified water or boiling rad water or something like that. So far, what what I've seen of the crafting, it doesn't seem like, oh, you need 15 other things and you need to craft this before crafting this part and a part made of multiple crafted parts. It doesn't seem that complicated so far. Mo everybody's video almost ends with this and like in all the, the, the gameplay videos. They're always like just a bomb at the end, which is fine. It's fun that the devs did that actually at the end there, and you, every, 
it seems like 95% of all the people just went started running down. Here it comes. That was a bit laggy bomb. <laughs> That flare, though, it's super strong at the end. Pretty sure the way it worked in Fallout 4 is where you, um, what was I saying? Uh, when you scrap stuff, usually you scrap it. No, well, usually no. You can't scrap material in your inventory, if I remember correctly. Usually it's, you transfer it and then it just scraps it when you need it or something like that. Here you can, I think you have to scrap the material before you can use it. Which is easy, there's this one button where you press scrap material. I remember at the beginning when I started playing Fallout 4 is I had I put all the scrap all the junk on the on the ground in like uh, in uh, in the, the your home base area there and I just just did like in in the manager there like scrap material scrap all the materials so I had all just the base resources because I don't know it, it got on my nerve when it, all the all the material wasn't raw material at the beginning I stopped doing that because I was getting annoying and wasting so much time doing that I really like I like this vendor a lot it looks pretty cool too compared to like uh, Fallout 4. It's about the same, but I feel like it's more refined. Everything's like nicer. Some of the, a lot of the textures, like you say, like I was saying at the beginning, a lot of the textures, like are old textures, they just reuse. But at least they took the time to repolish those textures, like make them look nice and crisp and more realistic too. One, one of the interesting questions I found too, uh, I don't remember which video I saw it in, so sorry. But uh, there was like they were explaining how re loots respawning work. I think they were saw talking the maps separate like you can't see those, but like yeah, the way they were explaining it is uh, basically once there's no players in each in those sectors, it basically re -loot, puts the loot back in those areas after a certain time. So that's a pretty cool way of doing it instead of that it just respawning it for some for no reason. And apparently, when you sleep on dirty ass mattress like that, you can get mutations too, apparently or something like. That. Mute. When you're playing instrument, it gives you uh, buffs too, like it gives you a well-rested buff. Or, uh, I don't remember exactly the way they were calling it there, but it's still very interesting the way they're doing it. The the shooting mechanic does look a bit more uh, refined than Fallout 4, because I, I, like, if you've played a Fallout 4, you know, like, the shooting mechanic's not always the best. It's not the, like, the well, the best, like, like, if you're, if you're used to playing first-person shooters, it's probably more of a lower grade for <laughs> FPS than any other, but or uh, I'd say lower to mid, more towards the mid. I would say, In my opinion, I'm not a FPS like connoisseur, but but it seems like it, they, they did refine it a lot. And of course, the vats, like I explained earlier, like it's a bit it's a bit weirder than what it was before. It's a bit uh, it's a bit it's live action now compared to the other ones. Yeah, like this, he has to be level 35 to use the minigun. No, I don't know how. A lot of people feel about it. I don't mind it. Level 50. Holy shit. Level 50 to use a sniper rifle. Oh, level. Oh my god. You have to be level 50 to use a power armor. I feel a bit sad about that. That does disappoint me a bit. I wish power armor was actually like level 25 more. Oh well. What you gonna do? One other pretty cool thing is there's like those. I don't know if you guys remember if you if you saw any of the other video, some of the older videos where, um,. I think it's here too. You can capture these, ba like these, these things, uh, specific in specific areas, and they'll allow you to like, um, basically repair. Like he here, he's got a mission repair uh, Poseidon energy plant, and when he if he repairs it, he didn't do it in this video, but when he repairs it, he actually can uh, the machine right beside there. He can actually use it to build fusion cores. So that that I would see that being something like you have to fight with other like other players to. That's a pretty valuable asset. If you played Fallout 4, you know that fusion cores is one of those things where you're like, God damn it! Once you're out of, once you're running low on power cores, you're always swearing and trying to find more. And, and that's pretty cool if it gives you fusion cores. Apparently, I, I can't wait to see all the other ones. Like apparently, there's a couple of these, not this specific thing, but like other types of equipment that gives you a lot of uh, cool different equipment like that. Man, the battles, the battles would be cool for that. I'm assuming him do like you, I don't know if you were, everybody was here earlier, but I was talking about all the the side quests like like overcrowding the screen. Like you can see behind my head, it's almost it's taken more than half a screen on the right side, which is kind of weird. It's kind of unfortunate, but you you have to manually go close them down. I don't know if it's because those are because it's the people on his team 
that it creates all of these. Well, I see you see one with a name beside the final departure. I don't know. It's weird that it activates. Uh, it's unfortunate that it does just. You have to go activate it instead. And instead, it just automatically activates all the quests. I don't know if it's something that's uh, that can be fixed, but I have to see. One thing too, I think I saw. I don't remember in what video I saw that too, but now also when you um, when you equip like protective gear, you can also equip like what uh, Mr. Marty Marty plays here. He has a uh, sort of the, the the apron dress whatever suit on. It it actually goes over your equipment this time, so you you can hide the equipment you have, so you don't have to sacrifice aesthetic for armor. So that's a pretty cool feature. Really, that's really something compared to like in Fallout 4 where you, it always went over your equipment, like under your equipment, the clothes you put on. Honestly, in Fallout 4, the only thing I played with was with the um, the automatron suit, which it was it was the um, the black suit before. I don't remember the name of the the silver shroud was good, and as soon as the automatron DLC came up, that was the best suit after. So. For me, that's what I found the best. And the power armor too, of course. Yo, so yeah, instead of having like like intermediate difficult and stuff, now it's skills level. I think it goes up to three like with the with the perk cards basically. At least at least it you're you at least you you have the chance that yeah, that's the grid thing. Can't wait to see what's in there, man. Nobody nobody went in, so because you don't have to that's probably like a later mission. There's probably high tech like high high tech equipment in there. We haven't seen that area either, like the, the, the city hall or whatever I think it is. We haven't seen any of those yet, so I can't wait to see that. At least we didn't see like too many high level areas. Uh, what was I going to say there? Oh yeah, the perk cards. At least, at least you don't have to have a level to open lockpick doors and hack terminals. At least it gives you the opportunity. Oh, you don't have any, you can still do level zeros, at least. So at least at least you don't have to like oh shit where where did I leave that lock where was that lockbox before? Yeah, this is one of those parts where he was Juice said in his like highlight video he was saying like he was saying like this is probably one of those areas like he probably wasn't supposed to actually be there right at, right right away and uh, just started lagging the fuck out like really bad like you can see he's got about nine frames per second here. And then the, the enemies seem pretty powerful. There it is. <laughs> Level 50. I think they fought that guy for a while too. At least it lets you respawn wherever you want on the map, so that's pretty cool. I mean, he, he didn't even go over the area. That's the, that's the cool thing. That's probably a high level area. Right, right beside me there, and that's one thing I enjoyed a lot in, in, in like in this game that there's so much fucking um, a lot more color in the game that I really appreciate. That's like it, it, Fall, Fallout 4 had a lot of color, but I feel like I feel like in this a lot of the areas like we've seen so far don't seem dead when there's no, like nothing going on. At least there, there's always something to look at. There's always something like it's lively. Like I understand like it. You have to wait like some areas will be more dead more dead than other areas it's, that's not the proper word but just because they're nuclear fallout or nuclear bombs so but it's it is refreshing to see some area like untouched by it because even even like even new vegas had like that this that dread feeling it was always orangey vibe for some reason and fallout and fallout 3 had that green glow all over the place which was always weird it's pretty cool that now you have super high level creatures in, fa in, in Fallout. I feel like that's one thing that was mentioned because Deathclaw, once you reach like level 15 and, and uh, power armor, Deathclaws are like whatever. They're, they're, they're not an issue. Even when they grab you, they don't do that much damage. But Scorch Beasts, like they're level 50, so I would imagine like even at level 50 when alone, they're pretty difficult to beat. I didn't see a lot of people complaining about seeing the other player on the map, but. One thing I've noticed is like, it almost doesn't matter. Like you'll uh, a lot of the videos I saw, like you'll you'll rarely meet people you're not playing with, and when you do, you don't necessarily. Most people don't seem like to, to engage. You just like wave hi. Uh, you see if like they want to fight or something. Like just by the emotes, and then you go on your merry way. 
like everybody's well, I know this is like a closed environment and everybody's playing basically in the same room so they're able to ta talk to each other or something all right guys that's going to be it for my video of watching awesome gameplay videos hopefully you guys enjoyed that was pretty fun it's a not a type of video i usually do but i felt like i didn't know i wanted first i wanted to do like a special edit video like i did when they revealed uh uh full uh full uh, uh when they reveal fallout 76 first uh the uh, some time ago there i did like some sort of a sort of a skit video i wanted to do something like that at the beginning but i was like eh i didn't really feel like it at the end so i really that's why i wanted to do a video just like i live streamed this so thank you so everybody stopped by and liked the video and uh it was just a fun little video just watching and talking and all the information i found out today from watching all the other videos uh during the day so i hope you guys enjoyed hit the like button subscribe to the channel we really appreciate that follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and over here on youtube.com for slash me time gamer where i post a new video every day of the week monday to friday 3 p.m eastern time so thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you next video keep on keeping on